the 2021 BMW M3 competition. Aloha guys, it's Joe Tunney visiting my very good friends here at BMW of Hawaii in the beautiful city of Kona in the big island of Hawaii. Since the beginning of modern times, there has been a BMW M3. And modern times began, according to me, when Two Live Crew released their debut album way back in 1986. An M3. An M3. like to play this game. 1986 trivia. The two top best-selling albums in 1986 were both rap albums. That's right. Number two, Beastie Boys, Licensed to Ill, and number one, Raising Hell by Run DMC. And of course, the revolutionary car back in 1986 was released. It was the BMW M3, designed as a homologation car for BMW so that they could race it. And it has evolved to what you see here, the 2021 BMW M3 competition with 503 horsepower, 3D printed cylinder head core. We're gonna talk about that a little bit. And chassis dynamics, still the envy of the industry. But before we pop the hood, I have to stop because of this area right here. I feel like my Spanish teacher back in 1986 when we needed to conjugate the preterite yo form of the verb poner, which coincidentally is where Two Live Crew discovered the lyrics for their most popular song. So I know a lot of people want to get some stuff off of their chest, so please feel free to leave some comments down in the comment section. It's cathartic. And while you're down there, don't forget to uh, give me a like and uh, subscribe. We are going to take a look around the car and you're going to discover that the M3 competition is pretty much the most exciting sedan, if not of this time, perhaps of all time. This is BMW's S58 B30 T0 modular inline six cylinder engine with twin turbos. Uh, wait a minute, you better talk to my mother. The turbos compared to the standard M3, which are at 18.9 PSI maximum boost, these guys are up to 24.7 pounds per square inch of maximum boost, which is why it has 503 horsepower to go with 479 pound feet of torque, zero to 60 in 3.6 seconds. Now, harnessing all of that power and orchestrating it to the rear wheels is ZF's 8HP 8-speed automatic transmission. That is the single best transmission made in the world, perhaps, of all time. It's the same family of transmissions that's used in everything from Rolls-Royce to the SRT Hellcat and Demon series, even the 700 plus horsepower Ram truck TRX. Now, I mentioned that 3D printed cylinder head core. Why would BMW want to do that? Well, it allows for different uh, geometry within the cylinder head core that allows the hot air that's being generated inside the engine compartment to breathe out so the engine stays cool. One of the great things about M3s and one of the reasons they've been so popular for decades is that in the right hands, they'll last for decades. Let's take a look around. These air inlets right here are an important feature and we'll cover it here in a moment while we're talking about the brakes. First off, you've got the wheels. These are 19 inch by nine and a half inch wheels up front. And then out in back, you have offset 20 inch by 10 and a half inch rear wheels. The brakes are unique on these. These are 15 inch with six piston uh, front calipers. They're 14 and a half inch with single piston uh, calipers in the back. What makes them distinctive is that they are a uh, one piece design integrated with the hub. And so by the hub, I mean this interior part right here. So the way that the brake is done as one piece saves a lot of weight. In fact, it's unsprung weight, the best weight that you can save. The brake calipers, by the way, are standard in blue, but you can order them in either red or black. If you see them in gold, that means you've opted for the 15.7 inch carbon ceramic brake package, which is also a great braking system, especially if you like to autocross going Mach 2 with your hair on fire. 
which is a direct reference to the movie. I could tell you, but then I'd have to kill you. Top Gun, of course, you got it. And that movie came out in what year? 1986, you're right, two for two. Now, this setup, just the way you see it on this car right here, this BMW M3 competition stops from 60 miles an hour to zero miles per hour in just 99 feet. That's the same distance as the Lamborghini Aventador or the Nissan GTR. But unlike its sport and exotic car brethren, this is a car that's gonna do pretty much everything that those guys do, but after you're done, you can still go pick up the kids at school, swing by Costco or Home Depot, go grab your drive cleaning, and pick up a couple of pizzas all on the same ride home. I mentioned those front carbon fiber inlets. One thing that they do, the faster that you're going, it's pouring air actually directly onto the braking system itself. Again, just to keep it cool. Let's take a look around. Well, the interior has a kind of video game personality to it and feels like, in fact, you've been catapulted to the throne room of every video gamer's fantasy, especially with an automatic transmission. There's just no getting over it. You've got your hands on the wheel and you feel like it's 1986 uh, all over again. The big uh, video game, if you were in the arcade scene back in 86, was OutRun and it felt just like this. You were racing that convertible Testarossa around Miami with the cool music playing. This has the great Harman Kardon stereo system. It's gonna give you the exact same effect. I'm gonna turn it on. So interesting here is you have both the M1 setup and the M2 setup. The M1 you just push one time, the M2 you have to push two times. But when I push the M1 setup, you can hear it gives a distinctive exhaust sound. And I'm gonna give it a little bit of gas. And I'm gonna push it twice and go to the M2 mode. And I'm gonna give it some exhaust there. A bit throatier in the exhaust. That's also gonna turn the traction control system off. This is a car that is designed for wide open, thrill-seeking type of driving. 503 horsepower, 479 pound-feet of torque. You know, anytime you add those two numbers, and that's right around 1,000, that 1,000 number is in the ultra-exotic range, but the weight of this car, 3,849 uh, pounds. Anytime that number is less than four times greater than the total of the horsepower and the torque, you have something that is stratospherically fast. Let's jump in the back seat. digital climate control even in the back seat. It's still a comfortable car, not just an exotic high performance car. It's something that you can live with every single day. 112 and a half inch wheelbase means there's plenty of room in the back seat, even for somebody like me, who's six feet tall, 180 pounds, even though I have the front seat back pretty much all the way. There's also a carbon seat package that you can get in here that uh, although not quite as comfortable for long-term use, it certainly looks really, really cool. You can see on the top, this does have the carbon exterior package and it looks super, super cool. Let's take a look inside the truck. So a 13 cubic foot trunk. So this is great for a family of four bringing your luggage down to the airport for a nice trip. Or if you're looking for a fun weekend getaway, you live in a place like California, you wanna go down from the city all the way to Santa Barbara, or if you live in New York City and you wanna shoot down to Hilton Head for the weekend, or maybe you live in Chicago and you're a little bit more adventurous and you wanna shoot all the way down to Scottsdale for spring training, this is the right car for you. Something that you can live with on a long road trip that's as thrilling on tr uh, track day as any car in the world, and of course is reliable in the context of an ultra high performance type of car. The M3 has proven itself again and again for decades. The exhaust, well, the exhaust is really awesome on this car. And in an age where, you know, we're at the crossroads of artificial exhaust sound and no exhaust at all as we move from gas powered cars to electric powered cars, a car with a cool exhaust like this is something that's gonna be nostalgic years from now. This is the kind of car, especially in a super rare color like this, this frozen brilliant white, this is a $3,600 paint upgrade. 
a color like this on a car like this, equipped like this, could be worth a lot of money in the future because we really are at the end of a certain dynasty of cars as we transition from gas powered to electronic powered cars. Let's jump inside and take a look. Before we head all the way in, do bear in mind, like a lot of BMWs, compared to their peers, they actually get really good gas mileage. This one gets 19 miles per gallon combined driving, 23 out on the open road. 503 horsepower, automatic transmission, four-door sedan, hmm, that sounds pretty good. 19 miles per gallon uh, combined, sounds pretty good to me. Let's jump inside. Again, there's no getting around that video game personality. Outrun was just about everybody's favorite video game back in 1986. Certainly an incredibly groundbreaking video game. Maybe not the most groundbreaking ever. I think that one would go to Dragon's Lair. What do you think? <laughs> Three different arcade games are at the Smithsonian. Pac-Man, Pong, and Dragon's Lair. But OutRun was still pretty darn fantastic. This car is pretty darn fantastic. It's not a very big car, but it's still chunky. It feels substantial and nice. Although the chairs are pretty light, they actually feel like they're here to stand the test of time. They're not like a total zero gravity experience, but they are really, really comfortable. All the carbon that you have, uh, whether it's applique on the interior or carbon on the exterior, the cool carbon mirrors on the outside, it just screams wicked. You know, this is a car where you feel anticipation just sitting here, anticipation that uh, you're about to go for the ride of your life or that you're about to get a $1,200 speeding ticket. But whatever the case, this is a car that uh, you're gonna need to put on your absolute shortest list of exotic car options while you're out there looking because this is really as good as it gets uh, not just in the sports car market but even in the exotic car market this is going to stand tall against pretty much any car on the road and priced the way that it is is actually a really good deal for what it is and if you have any questions please don't hesitate to reach out to my very good friends at bmw of hawaii or you can reach out to me anytime at joelovesawaii at gmail.com